Hello everybody, and welcome back to Remembery Lane, the magical and fantastical place of creative insanity. Today, we're going to be looking at a cheap and crafty way to avoid wasting money on toys that you intend to either mutilate or, as in this case, significantly improve upon. We didn't have jobs or very much money as children, and because we were so creative, um, our mother, she was reluctant to buy us expensive toys. Therefore, we didn't have a very big extravagant collection of toys from our favorite television shows, so we were forced to make our own. Plastic dolls tended to go a little bit beyond our price range as children, so instead we had to use supplies that were lying around the house. Our mom's office had plenty of plain white paper to steal from her printer, and we could usually find a pen or a pencil lying around somewhere. Not to mention, pencil crayons were easy to steal. Now first of all, what little girl doesn't love the Disney princesses? Well, we sure didn't, but it was the only thing available on the market. For this project, first you're going to need to go down to your local store and find yourself a coloring book, featuring some of your favorite characters, of course. Aside from the book, there's a few other things you'll need, like some paper, a pencil, and if you're not so good at drawing, an eraser some glue. We use rubber cement. You can also use a glue stick or white glue. First you want to trace out your character onto a sheet of white paper. If you can't see the lines through the page, try putting it up against a window or some other light source. Make sure that you only trace out the body of your first character and not the face. You'll want to copy the faces of other characters as well, but because we want to share the clothes on all of the characters, as you see, we've got Ariel here. But you want all of the bodies to be the same and standard so that their wardrobes can be shared. Next up, we've got Princess Jasmine. As you can see, we've used the same body as we used for Ariel, but we've interchanged the face for the Arabian princess. After you've drawn it in in pencil, trace all of the lines with a black marker. And once that's dried, erase where your pencil lines were, especially the mistakes. Once you've finished erasing your lines, you can color it in and cut her out vaguely so that you can paste her onto a card like this. Now that she's pasted down, you can cut around the lines give her a backing. If you're feeling intoxicated, it's important that you have a responsible spotter to watch you and help you cut. Now that your favorite character is cut out, we can start doing what we do best. Decorating, styling, and accessorizing. Now it's time to design some fashion. When making the clothes, you're going to want to choose the character that has hair that's rather short so that it doesn't get in your way. In this case, we chose Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. Place the character on your white sheet of paper, somewhere near the edge so that you can use the page for more than one outfit. Use your pencil to trace around the body of your character. Try and use a pencil which does not have a broken lid. <laughs> Trace around the upper body to create a top, or the legs to create pants, or maybe even boots. Before you've lifted the doll off your piece of white paper, make sure that you add some little tabs to fold over so that the clothes can stay on the doll after you've cut them out. We're just going to show you how to make a basic shirt. Now lift the doll off the paper and draw in the details for your garment, including sleeves, the bottom of this shirt, and the neck hole. You can also add any graphics, designs, or pictures on the front of the shirt that you desire. In this case, we've just made a really fantastic turtleneck for Prince Eric. 
Once you've drawn it, colour it in and cut it out. Now that Eric is looking rather princely, his friends want to join in the fun. So use this technique to create a gigantic wardrobe for your various other characters. We went ahead and made hundreds of costumes just to show you how creative, flamboyant, and insane you can be. Stroll down the runway, another payday, cover of magazines. And when they see me, they want to be me. I am the fantasy. Cover girl, put the bass in your walk. Head to toe, let your whole body talk. Cover girl. If you loved our program and you want to see more Remembery Lane, remember to subscribe to our channel, like, and follow us, and befriend us on YouTube. Seriously, you guys, it is like so hard to find a Prince Charming today. Oh, no. I know, I know. You know, I've searched high and low in every club in town, and I just can't seem to find one. Hey, speaking of finding a decent guy, how about how things go over with uh, your Prince Charming there, uh, Ahora? <laughs> Oh, it's okay. He dropped the charges after I reminded him about, you know, how we met. <laughs> yeah. So it's all good now. If only I could just meet a nice guy, you know? <coughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I couldn't help but overhear you mention you were looking for Prince Charming. Well, I may not be a prince. But I'm as rich as one, and I'm as powerful as three. You know, charming. Senator Charming. Senator? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I need to go uh, to the bathroom. I'll, I'll talk to you girls in a minute. Isn't he like a Republican?